One of the questions I get asked all the time is tires, tire sizes. So, here's uh, one of my race Bridgestone slicks. So this is a 190 650 17. You've probably never heard that before. What you've probably heard is 190 55 17 or 190 60 17 or 190 50 17. Those are all aspect ratios. So the big question that always affects everybody is, are these things the same circumference? No. So drag racers do something called rollouts, where they measure the circumference of the tire and they know exactly what to do for setup based on that rolling circumference. What do motorcyclists do? I need more grip, I need bigger tires. Huge urban myth. What you need is the tire that the rim was designed for. And if you go on a 180 rim, on a five inch rim and put a 190 tire on it, the diameter of the tire increases because of the size of the tire, because it's bigger, but it also increases because you pinch the tire. So the actual height of the tire increases even more. And then guess what? You put more air in it. So it increases even further. So tire circumference is static in the design of the tire. And tire circumference is also dynamic based on pressure and what size rim you put the tire on. So whenever you put a rear tire on that is different to what you had, even within a brand, you need to put them side to side to do a height check for diameter. Now, for much more information on this, where do you need to go? There's a dedicated tire section in the DM tuning app for Android and Apple, and also on the Dave Marsh YouTube channel. There's a whole slew of videos on tires, on geometry and wear. So, go educate yourself on this topic, tire circumference. Be sure to check out the Dave Moss Tuning app for iOS and Android. There you'll find grundles and grundles of information on tires, suspension setup, and more.